Bomber Mountain in northern Wyoming's Cloud Peak Wilderness. Near its summit lie what's left of a World War II B-17 flying fortress that crashed on the mountaintop on a dark June night in 1943. Parts of the wreckage still rest near the granite boulder crest decades later. This is the story of one of our family's climbs to the top of Bomber Mountain to visit the crash site more than 70 years later. Along the way, we would encounter adventure, wildlife, beautiful scenery, fun, and tragedy. This is Climbing Bomber Mountain. How come we're leaving so late? Because Bailey wouldn't get her clothes packed in time. Not even! Well, Burger King gave us free food, so it was worth it. And the other piece of good news is that it's raining. <laughs> and it's almost dark. And we are following some giant strawberries on the highway. Woohoo! And the campground was full. So we came down back the road to uh, Deer Park Campground. And we have a nice little campsite. It's 10.30 at night, so I actually have to talk a little quieter. Uh, but that's where we are. Trying to get tents up. Here, and it just started raining. Thankfully, we have our tents up. So that's good. It quit uh, raining. And there's a moth in our tent. <laughs> but uh, Cole and I are getting ready for bed. It's about 50 degrees, great sleeping weather. Can't wait to go uh, hiking tomorrow. 7 a.m., Deer Park Campground. Cole and Cody set about starting a campfire. Bailey and Bryn warmed themselves by the exuberant gas stove. We would need a good breakfast for the hike ahead. I don't like Cole this morning. He's a fire Nazi. He threw away my wood, and then he won't let me put on wood because I do it the wrong way. She tried to put half a pile on. It's time for breakfast, I can tell. Does anyone else want more toast? I'll take some more. How many pieces do you want? Two more. Huh? It's everywhere. After enlisting the help of a stranger to take our photograph at the trailhead, we started out. I'm, I'm feeling great. My backpack feels great. We're here at West Hensley Lake. Uh, that's where the trailhead is. We just passed it. <laughs> and we've been hiking for like five minutes now. <laughs> and I'm expecting to accomplish great things today. I'm excited. Feeling great. Wow. It was a perfect day. We just got in some trees into the shade and uh, we saw a girl run past us uh, in a panic and we stopped her and asked her what was wrong and she said that someone up ahead was having a seizure. I told her I was a doctor, and so I sprinted ahead. A gentleman was down on the ground. He had uh, collapsed with his backpack and uh, couldn't get a pulse. And so I started doing CPR. A paramedic stopped by, and he helped me do CPR for about an hour. And uh, finally, we couldn't get any results. I deployed a personal locator beacon and to call for help, but nobody came. And after an hour of doing CPR, we, we stopped. Right now we're waiting for the helicopter, <clears throat> and I think we can hear it. Search and rescue did come an hour later, as did the Bighorn County Sheriff's deputy. The coroner arrived by helicopter. It was late in the day, but we decided to press on. Good job, Bailey! We had seven of the eight miles and 1,000 feet of elevation still to go to reach our planned campsite. What do you have there, Cole? I bought these little throwing knives online. These little... Man, those are wicked looking knives. Little sheath of three of them. Pretty cool, I haven't gotten the throwing down yet, but let me try. Wow, that almost went into my leg. Okay, I'm gonna stand back just a little bit further. Because you was like a I can oh, get it into that. Stop, no. Wait, 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 wait. I want. I don't want to be close to it. Okay. When you throw it at it. Wait, wait, wait. Col Cody's a little close. Cody, st step back behind him. These these things tend to bounce. Okay. I did we talk about buying throwing knives? Don't like what? Knives. This is. Okay. They're not scary. It just looks on. <laughs> Cool. I, I didn't know you were a ninja. Well, you can't buy ninja Found stars. I looked. <laughs> <laughs> we're almost to Lake Helen. It's seven o'clock. There's rain clouds coming in. It's really overcast, but it's nice and cool for hiking. 
we arrived at our Lake Marion campground at dusk. We're here at uh, Lake Marion last night. Wow, we were sure tired. We had to stop every like three or four minutes just to rest. We got a, a stove going and we got some water and heated it up. And then we set up tent in the twilight. But, uh... Well, there's Cody waking up. Hey, Cody. I was sleeping on rocks. We're in tortillas, so breakfast burritos, muffins, and hot cocoa. Um, what y'all do with your muffins? Fishing or a nap? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> she dumping out water by your head there? We're getting ready. For? For swimming and we're taking pictures. Now, isn't it about like 55 degrees out? It's gonna be fun. <laughs> it's gonna be cold. But Bailey wants to swim. So we're all supposed to carry our own weight for this trip, uh, which is difficult because we're going on a big hiking trip. And Bailey brought an air mattress, <laughs> full on six pound air mattress. She needed that because of the strain on her back. <laughs> Pretty muddy water. <laughs> yeah, it's like not solid, so you sink down. When are you two going swimming? sun comes back out. We're getting a little uh, afternoon rain shower. It's the sun shining, but uh, it's raining on our tents. First cast. Here we go. Little guy. I don't know, but I'm hungry. Oh yeah, it's pretty fish. Yeah. A little brook trout. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, we're at 10,000 feet and uh, the sun isn't out, but guess what? We're going swimming. <laughs> Better. Yeah, it's cold water. <laughs> splashed your heart. <laughs> We've been hearing uh, rumbles of lightning, so we got out of the lake. Is it ready yet? I think it's ready. I think it's time. Actually, did we have lunch? I don't think we had lunch. Oh, this looks so good. So this is like a light oh, lunch. Oh, oh. Yeah? Like a, oh yeah. This is like winter. Winter. macaroni Chili and mac cheese. Mac. And macaroni and cheese. Call your great chef. Oh, well thank you. <laughs> we just added water. We oh, prepared all right. it so well. It's gonna be great mixed together. Use nice. the spoon. Mm -hmm. So that you can spoon the rest out of here. Clearing. See him in there? Wait, is that a weasel? Oh, no, see cute. the little marmot in there? Oh, don't scare him off, Cole. He's just talking to him in Marmadese. Are she supposed to like whistle? Isn't that what they do? No, I think they bark. Chirp, chirp. We're trying to stay dry under this tarp. Ago, there was thunder and lightning and it was raining and now, now look at the sky. Bryn, how come you're still in your warm clothes? I, didn't, I was too lazy to change. <laughs> yeah. As the sun slipped behind the western peaks, Bailey decided to run higher up the slope to catch the last rays of the day. Bryn, what were you doing there? I was getting all the bugs out of the hair. Hair. It looked like you guys looked like monkeys or something. Just Yeah, well, Bailey has fleas. <laughs> I see. Over here. Yeah, you're getting lots of hits and then they're getting off? Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty fish. I think he's big enough. Are you guys watching videos in the mountains? We might be. What are you watching? Because we don't fish. The office. <laughs> there you go. That's a nice fish. That's a good one. What are you doing there, Dad? Cooking some trout. We can't find the red licorice anywhere, but we discovered that uh, oh my, oh it's in the tent goodness. with uh, Bailey and Brent. Okay, really, I can't find the licorice. Okay, but it is in here, isn't it? Somewhere, but... All right, well, that's okay, because the M&Ms and the chocolate bars are in our tent. How 
right across the lake. Oh yeah, there they are. Wow. They're just swimming across like no big deal. I'm excited to go up to Bomber Mountain. I hope that we can find it a lot faster this year. I'm excited to go up to Bomber Mountain. From what I've been told, it sounds pretty cool. I'm also hoping that the sky stays clear because it looks good right now, as long as we don't get caught in any thunderstorms. I'm excited to go up to Bomber, but I'm kind of scared because I'm afraid of the, the height. Last year, we got caught in a pretty bad thunderstorm on the way up and on the way back down. Also, we did the whole hike in the dark with one flashlight, so we're prepared. We've got lots of flashlights. I'm excited to see the plane. Uh, we're leaving a lot earlier this year than we did last year, and hopefully we'll be wiser this year, and uh, uh, we're a lot more prepared. We've got some good rain gear and warm clothing and lots of flashlights and food, so uh, we should be a lot better prepared. Looking forward to going up with the kids this year. We decided to stay off the trail and to climb the eastern slope above Marion Lake. At the top is an unnamed lake where we have seen some nice sized cutthroat trout. Cole decided to see if he could catch a fish while Bailey tried to catch some rays. From the lake we headed east across a field of boulders that ranged in size from toaster ovens to pickup trucks. We made shadow puppets along the way and we walk through giant spider webs strewn between the rocks. Our goal was to make it to Gunboat Lake. Well, I remember we were hiking up to Bomber and Apt and Alyssa would not stay with us over and over again. We would tell them and they'd keep running ahead. So we're like, you know what, fine. We'll stop and eat lunch and teach them a lesson. <laughs> so we sit down and we get our packs and we realize that they have lunch <laughs> in their packs. <laughs> The grassy shores of Gunboat Lake were a nice place to stop and rest. Passing Gunboat and Fortress Lakes, we stopped for water at the outlet stream from Florence Lake. Ahead of us was the climb to Florence Pass. Our first good view of Bomber Mountain came at Florence Pass, where a large pyramid of stones marked our arrival. We couldn't see the wreckage from the banks of Florence Lake, a ridge near the top hides the site. At the eastern edge of Florence Lake is a small cleft between giant boulders. A few years back we were caught in a bad thunderstorm and six of us hid out in this natural shelter for a couple of hours until the rain and hail passed. We ate lunch on a large rock at the water's edge, peanut butter and jam on flour tortilla rounds. It's so simple. Raisins, peanuts, Cashews, just all kinds of delicious things. It was time to make the climb and we began our ascent. We have learned that the easiest way up is the slope between the inlet and outlet streams of Florence. Once we've climbed that and we're up on the first ridge, we head west to cross the inlet stream and pass a small glacier on our way, stair-stepping up the mountain from east to west. No special gear is required if you take this path. We were amazed to see so much groundwater and green spaces on the mountain that it looked so barren from below. And we see what looks like to be a little scrap of metal. We found the first piece. Good job, B. We're on the right track. The action of decades of annual snow cover has ground the plane into small parts, which slowly slide down the mountain. We look for airplane parts to lead us to the crash site. Yeah. The B-17 Flying Fortress was flying from Pendleton Army Air Base in Oregon to Grand Island, Nebraska. The bomber was on its way to England to help in the campaign against Nazi Germany. Flying at night, the pilot last radioed his position around midnight. The aircraft was never heard from again. A search for the missing plane was unsuccessful, and the 10-member crew was declared missing. A search failed to locate the wreckage site. Two years later, cowboys spotted a shiny object on the ridgeline south of Cloud Peak and decided to investigate. They discovered the wreckage and contacted authorities. Local volunteers with mules recovered the remains of the crew members 
to return them to their families for burial. A year after the wreckage was discovered, the previously unnamed ridge was given the name Bomber Mountain by the U.S. Forest Service. Most maps mark a ridge to the northeast of Florence Lake as Bomber Mountain, but the wreckage site is due north of the lake. We're going! We're heading out. We're heading down the mountain. It was late in the day and we needed to head down the mountain to get back to camp before dark. Well, that didn't happen. The sun set as we passed the fortress lakes and it was pitch black by the time we got to Misty Moon Lake. That's where we encountered four bull moose along the trail, grazing on willows. They didn't spook at all, no matter how much we hollered. We had to clamber over some boulders to stay off the trail and get back to our camp. We ran into big four moose. <laughs> <laughs> Big four moose. <laughs> we had to climb up into a rock and they wouldn't move. Well, why didn't they scare, Cole? Because they're moose. I mean, they sure scared Bryn. Yeah. On level of one to crying, how scared were you? <laughs> well, you're just walking across now. <laughs> Bailey just saw a cow and a baby moose up ahead. We finally reached the trailhead where we had started our journey four days earlier. Even better, our car was waiting for us and we headed for the Dash Inn in Buffalo for lunch. 86. Okay, so what's the best part of the hiking trip? The hamburgers at the, the end? <gasps> Definitely. <laughs> okay. Full on six pound. <laughs> 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 